Fort Morgan is regarded as one of the finest examples of military architecture in America. This historic fort is full of Civil War history. Located at the mouth of Mobile Bay, the fort was completed in 1819 and named after Revolutionary War hero Daniel Morgan. After the War of 1812, the U.S. embarked on a program to strengthen its coastal areas. As part of this program, in 1818, the U.S. contracted with Benjamin Hopkins of Vermont to build a large masonry fort on Mobile Bay. Hopkins died a year later in a yellow fever epidemic, and the Army then turned the task over to the Corps of Engineers. Slave labor built the fort, and it was completed in March of 1834 and turned over to the 2nd U.S. Artillery. This unit remained at the fort for about a year and a half before being transferred to Florida to assist in the Second Seminole Indian Wars. Then, eight days before Alabama seceded from the Union, Colonel John B. Todd took four companies of Alabama volunteers and captured the fort before dawn on the 3rd of January, 1861. The Confederates then proceeded to strengthen the defenses of Mobile Bay protecting the main shipping channel opposite Fort Morgan. To defend the area, the Confederates placed 18 of the fort's heaviest guns focused on this channel. They also built redoubts and trenches east of the fort to stop any attack via land. During the Battle of Mobile Bay, Union naval forces under Admiral David G. Farragut were able to get past Fort Morgan while losing one of their ships and entered the bay. They eventually captured Fort Gaines from the water, allowing the rest of the Union soldiers to focus on Fort Morgan. During the battle, the wooden roof of the Citadel, a ten-sided barracks located in the center of the fort, caught fire and the structure was badly damaged. After two weeks of battles from land and sea, General Richard L. Page, commander of the fort, surrendered on August 23, 1864. Once the fort was in Union hands, the North used it as a base for raids, and then as a staging area for the Battle of Spanish Fort and the Battle of Fort Blakely, which occurred just hours after General Robert E. Lee surrendered at Appomattox. Unfortunately, hurricanes in 1906 and 1916 caused a great deal of damage at Fort Morgan. After the U.S. declared war on Germany in April 1917, the fort took on the task of training coast artillerymen in modern weapons. The fort also trained field anti-aircraft batteries. The War Department then turned it over to the state of Alabama in 1946. In 2007, Fort Morgan was listed as one of the nation's 10 most endangered battle sites by the Civil War Preservation Trust. In June of 2008, a 90-pound live Union naval shell was uncovered at the site. The shell was from a Parrot rifle on a U.S. Navy warship and was fired at the fort in the summer of 1864. This is a must-stop for anyone interested in Civil War history. The fort and its museum are open to the public with special events throughout the year.